and gentlemen, welcome to section 7.5, Properties of Logarithms. We're going to cover our first property of today, and it is the product property of logarithms. And what this property does, it's saying that if you have the log of the same base, and then you have this number here, this is like a 30, a 40 right here, and it's 5 times 6, 7 times 8, doesn't matter what it is, right? You have two numbers that multiply to this number, well, you can separate them with a plus sign, have that same log there and it's like adding them together so this is an example down here so five times six right so you're going to split that five up and then split that six up with the same base in the log so let's try a problem like this here we are given log base two of five equals that now we have log base two of 25 what we want to do with this 25 is to break the 25 or the numbers that you're given into numbers with 5. Well, I know uh, 25 can break into log base 2 of 5 times 5. So we have 5s and that's what we need. So now, what do we do when we're multiplying here, right? We're going to separate. We're going to throw a log onto each of those 5s. So it's log base 2 and then you have your 5 here and a plus and then you get Again, you have another log base 2 with a 5. See how each log, this log went to a 5, and this log went to another 5. Now, what does the log base 2 of 5 equal? The log base 2 of 5 equals 2.2 or 2.322. So this turns into 2.322, and this turns into 2.322. Now you just add them together to get 4.644. Awesome, nothing too bad. Same thing here with number 2, log base 2 of 10. We want to write this 10 with a 5 in it. So I go log base 2. What multiplies the 10 with a 5? That's going to be 5 times 2. Well, now I know that this 5, right, is that right there, but I'm going to keep going with this. I'm going to write it out one more time. You have to carry that log to both of it, 5, and then plus, because when you add the log to both things, you have to throw a plus in there, so it's a log base 2 of 2. Now this guy turns into 2.322, but what does this turn into? Remember evaluating expressions, I'm going to come up here where log base 2 of 2 equals x. What do we have to do with that little 2? We swing it over, bump the x up, so 2 equals uh, 2x. What does x equals? x equals 1, so it's going to be plus 1. Add this up, it's going to be 3.322 for your final answer. Now, ladies and gentlemen, every time we get the same base and the same number here that is going to be one so when we are given something at the beginning we want to break our numbers down into this number here and if we can break our number down into that base as well we will have numbers that we will be able to work with so let's try three log base two of 20 how can i break that 20 into a five that's going to be log base two of five and then 5 times what is 20? It's 5 times 4. We're multiplying here, so let's carry our log to both. So it's log base 2 of 5 plus log base 2 of 4. Now, is there a way that I can evaluate this 4? Because I know this log here, log base 2 of 5 is 2.322, but I do not know what this log base 2 of 4 is. Is. So let's go ahead and find that out. We have log base 2 of 4, and that's going to equal x. We swing over the 2, so it's 4 equals to the x. How can I write this 4 as a base of 2? That's going to be 2 squared. It's just like evaluating expressions. So it's x equal x equals 2. So this guy is going to be 2. Notice how this 4 can be written as a power of 2, so that's why this log works. And so we add it up to be 4.3. 2 to for our final answer. Next product property is the quotient property of logarithms. Now when you're dividing, we subtract the logs. When we divide, we subtract the logs. When we divide, we subtract the logs. 
when we multiply, we add the logs. So let's take a peek at some of these. Now we have log base 12 of 3 fourths. But first we have to look at what are we given. We're given log base 9 and log base 12 of 18. Important numbers here, 18, 9. What is the other important number? The other important number is log base 12, right? So we're looking for 9, 18, 12. First thing here, we have log base 12 of 3 fourths. How can I make that 3 fourths into a 9, 12, or 18? Well, I have log base 12. How can I get this 3 to be a 3? Well, that has to be times 3, or this 3 to be a 9, I have to take it times 3. What you do to the top, you have to do to the bottom, so I have to take the bottom times 3, right, to keep that same fraction. I'm just making the fraction bigger. So now I have the fraction 9 over 12. Do we have, do we have a 9? Yes, we do. Do we have a 12? Yes, we do, right there. So let's go ahead and write it like the quotient property. This is going to turn into now log base 12 of 9 minus log base 12 of 12. Log base 12 of 9 turns into right here 0 0.884 minus 1 because this guy turns into 1. Same base, same number, turns into 1. We subtract to get a negative. 0 0.116 for our final answer. For B, now it's 0 0.75. Now it's a decimal. Well, let's first turn it into a fraction. So log base 12 and 0 0.75 is the same thing as 3 fourths. And then if you look right over there, it's the same exact problem. I just wanted to show you how we get this decimal into a fraction. Now we have the log base 12 of 2. How can we rewrite this 2 with an 18, a 9, or a 12? Well, the 12 doesn't really help me because I can't get a 12 to be 2. But if I go log base 12, what can I use to divide? What if I go 18 divided by 9? What is that? That is 2. How can I put that as a fraction? Well, I can go 18 divided by 9, right? Just like a fraction, that gives me 2. So, now let's break that apart with the quotient property. It's going to be log base 12 of 18 minus, because I'm dividing, log base 12 of 9. Log base 12 of 18 turns into 1.163. That's going to be minus 0.884. From right here is where I'm picking it up from. I subtract, punch it in your calculator. You get 0. 0.279 for your answer, and that is it. Last property of today. Now it's the power property of logarithms. Now notice when we have this guy, this exponent, where does that go? It goes in front of the log. So this 5 would go in front of the log, and you are multiplying. That's all that happens here. That power is going in front of the log. So what do these problems look like? Here we have a log base 5 of 6, so we're looking for a log base 5 of 6s. We need 6s. Well, first one. Here this 7 is in or is at an exponent. Where should this go? It needs to go in front of the log, right? According to our power property of logs. So it's going to go in front, so it's going to be 7 times log base 5 of 6. Log base 5 of 6. This turns into 1.1133. Bring down our times 7. And now you just punch that into your calculator for 7.7931. How about this guy? Log base 5 of 216. Well, 216. What is 216? 216 is 6 to the 3rd. So I'm going to rewrite 216 as 6 to the 3rd. Then I have log base 5 in front. Where does that 3 go? That 3, according to the power property, comes in front. So it's going to be 3 times the log base 5 of 6. Log base 5 of 6 turns into 1.1133. And then you have 3 times that mess, which is going to be 
three three nine nine for our final answer. Now a couple more. Now we're going to ask to solve equations. Now we're going to put a couple uh, properties together. Here we have a 4 in front, so it's being multiplied. We are subtracting and it equals this. Well, when we have these equations, let's put our logs together on this side. So when we have this 4, where does this 4 go according to the power property? This 4, if we want to go backwards on that power property, will go log base 2 of x to the fourth. That four now goes into the back or as an exponent to the x. Then we have minus log base two of five equals log base two of 125. If I rewrite this, the minus between the logs makes it what? Makes it a division. So it's going to be x to the fourth. Sorry if you can't see that four, but that's x to the fourth over five. That equals log base 2 of 125. Now with the logs meaning the same thing or having the same logs, since we have the same logs we just cancel it out, we have now x to the fourth over 5 equals 125. Now we just solved this problem. How do you solve this problem? We just multiply by 5 on both sides so it's x to the fourth equals 625. We take the fourth root of both sides, you just punch that in your calculator. When we take the fourth root of 625, x will be, whoops, x will be 5 for your answer. Next one, apply the same properties. Apply that power property first. So it's going to be log base 6 of 4 to the second minus log base 6. 8 to the 1 third, and that's going to be equal to log base 6 of x. Minus between the logs turns it into log base 6. Now, 4 squared is going to be 16 over 2. That's going to equal log base 6x. Same logs, cancel, cancel. So it's 16 over 2 equals x, then it's 8 equals x for your final answer. All right, one more, hang in there. Here we have log log equals 2. Notice, please notice how there is no log over here. That is key, right? Our hint is this right here. When there is no log over here, what do we have to do to get rid of the log? We swing the base over. So let's try it. Here we are adding between logs. When we are adding between logs, what do we have to do? Log base 4, we have to multiply. So it's going to be x plus 2 and times x minus 4. That equals 2. In order to get this log out of here, apply your hint. Swing the 4 over, bump up the 2. So it is going to be x plus 2 times x minus 4. That equals 4 squared. 4 squared is 16. Now I'm going to multiply out. I'm going to foil this stuff out to be x squared plus 2x minus 4x minus 8. And then, now I'm going to clean up everything. x squared minus 2x minus 8 equals 16. Now, how do we solve this? Well, we can just factor it if we subtract the 16 over. So let's subtract the 16 over. So we get x squared minus 2x minus 24 equals 0. We factor to find that x minus 6 and x plus 4 equals 0 because negative 6 times positive 4 is 24. They add together to be negative 2. So now our answers, x minus 6 equals 0, x plus 4 equals 0. Add the 6 over, so x equals 6, and subtract the 4 over, x equals negative 4 for our final two answers. Then we can make sure to check these here if you want to make sure they both work, and they both do. And that does it for section 7.5, Property of Logarithms. Good day.